Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Have you guys ever thought of organizing an event? You might have, right? Organizing an event is not a small thing. So, while organizing an event, you have to set up all the arrangements, you have to manage the tickets, the registrations, the money related things, everything. It's a really, really hectic task, right? Would you guys believe me if I say there's an application to manage all these things inside Odoo 16? You have to believe me because there is a module which is called the events module. So inside these events, you can create event, publish event, you can manage the registrations, the attendees and those who attended it, everything. So come, let's move forward and see what are the things which events module inside the Odoo 16 provides for us. Okay, so now let's open the events and see what all things we can do inside that. So this is the events here. Now once you open the events, you can see the dashboard. So inside the dashboard, you have all the events which are created till date. Okay, you can see each of them are coming under different stages and you can see two stages are folded in Kanban. So if you just expand it, you can see the events which comes under that stage as well. Okay, so inside this dashboard, you have different kinds of view. Uh, the one which we are viewing right now is the Kanban view. You have the calendar view here. Okay, so this is the calendar view. You can see the scheduled events on uh, corresponding dates. Then we have the list view. So this is the list view. And we have the Gantt view. Okay, then we have pivot view. And also the graph view. Okay, so finally we have map view also. Okay, so this map view and all will be based on the locations. As you all know, events uh, occur in different locations and all, right? So we have the map view of the events also. Let's go back to the Kanban view. And the first thing which we are going to do is create an event. Okay, so I'll click on create here. So this is the creation form. So first thing which we have to do inside the creation form is give a name for the event. So I'm giving the name as a concert. Okay, so I've created a concert here. Then the next thing is you have to specify the date. That is when will it start and when will it end. So while clicking on this field, you can just uh, specify the date. So you can just drag and drop it like this. Okay, so I'll put on 22 to 30. Okay, and you can also specify the time here. Okay, you can set the date and time inside this field. So I'll keep it as such and click on apply. So you can see the date that is from date and to date has come. Then you have the option to set the time zone. Okay. So you can choose any time zone that is based on your need. You can choose the time, for, uh, time zone from here. You have the Twitter wall. If you want to specify any Twitter wall and all, you can do that. And here we have the option to give the template. This is the event template. So the event templates are pre-configured and only then we can use that inside the event creation so we'll keep it here and see i'll save it for now and let's see how to configure the event template so for that let's go to the configuration here we have event templates i'm opening it and these are the event templates which are created before so we'll open one and see we have one called exhibition so inside it you can see the event template name and also a lot of other fields now let's create one and see what each of them are creating one so i'm giving it as concert temp okay then we have a lot of check boxes here okay so if you want to put it as a website sub menu you can check that track menu item if you want to track the tra like it tracks the menu item you can check that track proposal menu item booth menu item exhibitors menu item community twitter wall menu item register button you have so many options to check Okay, then here we also have the option to set the time zone. Okay, we have the limit registration that is you can limit reg registration to a particular count. So if you just check that you have the option to specify the count here. So I have given as 2000 or you can just simply give 200 or 20 or any count. Okay, then you have the auto confirmation. If you want to confirm it automatically, you can just enable it also then you can add the tickets here okay so the event uh, registration ticket and you can set the price of the ticket also okay uh, you can add any number of 
tickets okay then you have the communication that is uh, how is the communication done through mail okay the interval the unit and when will this mail trigger like you have one after each registration before the event before the event so this is uh, this has come by default if you want to do any changes you can do that so simply if you want to add one you can just click on add a line and add a new uh, communication method you have questions here okay you can add questions here okay uh, you can add questions corresponding to the events so if you just click on add a line you can add the question here you can also add the answer okay so i'm discarding it you have the booths here so you can add booth okay then we have notes so if you want to add any kind of notes regarding the event you can do that from here so this is how you create an event template now let's use this template inside the event which we created just now so i'm saving it let's go back to events so concert is the one which we created right now okay now let's add the template which we created right now which is the concert temp okay i've added it and also we have the option to add tags so i'm adding music okay um the age limit and all is given as tags so you can do that also so i'm keeping it there then on the other side we have the organization of the event so you you can see the organizer is my company that is the company who is organizing the event and the responsible person also you have the company here that is the corresponding company the website in which this will be available if you don't give any website means it will be available everywhere you have the menu and if you want to uh, upload a map and all that is the exhibition map and all you can upload your file here and you have the limit registration auto confirmation and all this has come from the template okay the template which i have chosen here then we have the tickets so ticket also we created inside the template the communication okay a question and note and all we didn't add so that questions are not here and if you want you can add it here also so this is how you create a event okay so here we have a lot of smart tabs and all so if we create i mean if you if we perform more operations in this uh, events this will be uh, there will be a change in each of these smart tabs okay so we'll save it now here on more you can see go to website so it's currently in unpublished state so if you want you can change it i'll go, click on go to website okay so here you can see the event so i'm going to publish it so this is published right now and if you want to register for the event you can just click on register here okay and then you can what register for the event so you can see the date and time uh, if you want to add this to your calendar you can do that okay the location the organization i mean organize organizer sorry and you can do that and all and also while registering you can register for how many people you want so currently i have chosen only one quantity you can choose how many you want from here so click on register so this is the ticket okay you can add the uh, attendee name so i'll give the name as jenny and you can see the email you can add the email address and also the phone number corresponding to that person okay so you can see these two are mandatory fields and this is an optional field so i'm continuing it okay now what happened is that we have uh, registered for the event okay so you can see the billing address and all you can confirm it and proceed you can do the payment okay choose one and clicking on pay now okay so uh, we'll do the payment and all later there's some issues there so this is how you register okay the regist uh, registration is done like this inside the website now let's go back to events itself so here you can see after the registration the expected attendees count has changed to 1 it was 0 before now it's 1 okay so once you register you become an expected attendee you can come either come or not come right so if you just click on that you can see the graph view of the uh, registration statistics so i'm just removing the filter and i'm putting it in the kanban view okay so you can see jenny has registered for the event 
Now, if you want, you can add the attendance also. Just click on this button here. Okay, you can see this is not paid right now. Okay, I'm clicking. And once you have attended it, which means that button has changed to attended. So this is how you mark the attendance of the attendees of the event. Okay, so that's done. Then we have the stages and all. So here you can see under configuration event stages. So you can uh, set stages for the event here. Okay, you can set it as new, booked, announced, ended. And similarly, if you want to add a custom event, I mean event stage, you can do that from here. And here we have the group by filter and favorites option. Then one important thing which comes under this is the lead generation. So click on lead generation. So by clicking on the create button, you can create a new lead generation rule. Okay, so we'll open one, which is the rule on example.com. Okay, this is a rule uh, lead generation rule, which is created before. So here you can see create on per attendee or per order. You can choose that from here and when it should be created. That is when attendees are created, attendees are confirmed or attendees attended. You can choose that from here. Here we have the event categories. Okay, events on which categories for any of these events. So I'm choosing the concert. Okay, the events which comes under the uh, category concert and similarly you can add multiple categories here. So I'll add exhibition also. Then the event can be chosen from here. Okay, so I'll add an event. Okay, so here if the attendees meet these conditions, that is you can set a condition. Okay, for this rule, you can set a condition. So here we have the option to set the condition. That is, you can set a domain here. Okay, and uh, the car, you know, the attendees which meet that condition can be seen there. Here you can see currently uh, the records which satisfy this condition is 23. Okay, then we have lead default values that is lead type. It's an opportunity. The sales team can be chosen and also the salesperson. You can set tags here also. Okay, so I'm just saving it. So this is how you create a lead generation rule inside the events. Okay, then we have the track locations. So this is the track locations. So if you just open one, you can create one as well. You can just give the uh, locations also. That is simply event locations. By clicking on this, you can put it directly inside the events. Okay. So I'll give the location as a stadium or something. Okay, so the next time you will have this option also inside the event location. Then we have the booth categories. So we have the option to create booths and all, right? So booth categories, we have standard booth, premium booth, VIP booth. Similarly, you can create a new custom booth. Okay, and also for each booth, what? Uh, the price also differs, right? So the what the VIP booth people pay won't be the amount premium booth has, okay? So similarly, you can set the uh, price and booth and all. Then we have the event tags categories, that is to create tags, okay? So here you can see the name is activity. You have the tags as culture, music, sports and all. You have the type as online conference, the age group as so and so similarly if you want to add any new category add the category here and also the values which comes under that category can be added as tags okay then we have um, the reporting section so we'll go through the reporting section we have the option attendees and revenues so you can uh, get the reporting based on the attendees and also the revenues so i'll click on attendees so here you can see the analysis of the attendees. You can see the different events here. Okay, you can see the concert, conference for uh, architects. These are all events, okay? Then you can see the color, which is like attended, unconfirmed, confirmed and all. Okay, and also the dates are given here. So here we have the line chart and also pie chart. So first we viewed the bar chart. Okay, then we have the option to uh, like, filtered based on the measures here you can insert it in spreadsheet and also we have the filter group by and favorites so group by we have these much options that is you can group by partner event ticket type and all and also filters you can filter it based on confirmed unconfirmed attendees and all 
okay so you have these much options to filter and under favorites you can uh, add the view or link in the article which is in the knowledge module you can add it to the dashboard save the current search and link menu in spreadsheet so here we have the pivot view that is the table view if you want to flip the axis you can do that we have the kanban view of the attendees here okay so you can see how many have attended how many have cancelled okay all those things then we have the list view. So this is the list view of the attendees. And we have the cohort view. Okay. So these are the different views which comes under the reporting based on attendees. The next thing which we have is based on revenues. So click on that. Here we have the revenues in a graphical representation. Okay. You can see the dates here. That is the registration date. Okay. You have the pie chart for that and also the bar chart. Also, we have the pivot view. Okay. So, if you want to do comparison, you can do that from here. Okay. Comparison based on an event start date. Okay. And also the previous period or previous year and all. Okay. Next, under the registration desk, you have such a view. So, here you can select the attendee. Okay. So, click on that. Select the attendee, I'll select this person. Okay. And if he is attended, you can mark it from here as attended. Or simply you can cancel it. Okay. Set to unconfirmed. Anything you can do. Okay. Okay. Next, we have under the configuration, we have the settings, which is the final thing which comes under the events. So here we have a lot of options. First one is the events section where we have schedule and tracks that is manage and publish a schedule with tracks. So you can enable that to manage and publish the schedules and all. And we have the community, sorry, community chat rooms. Okay. So this is to, you know, uh, communicate between the attendees and all. Okay, by creating virtual conf uh, conference rooms, you have the online exhibitors that is to display sponsors and exhibitors on your event page. Okay, so if I'm uh, like if I am conducting an event, there, there might be some sponsors and all. Okay, so you can uh, display those sponsors and all there. Then we have the booth management. Okay, it is to create booth and manage the reservations which is coming to the booth. So for that, you have to enable this. Now under schedule and track, you have live broadcast and also event gamification. That is, if you want to share a quiz with your uh, attendees and all, you can do that with the help of event game gamification. And also you have live broadcast that is a, as your track online through a YouTube integration. Okay. Then we have registration that is under the registration uh, section. We have tickets, question and online ticketing. So to enable all these things, you have to make sure that all these things are checked and also saved. Then we have the attendance section where you can attend based on a bar code which is provided to you. Okay, you can scan your code and then attend it. Okay, to confirm the attendees, you will give, you will be given a badge. Okay, so with that badge, you can enter it. Then we have the tickets and all. Tickets is to sell tickets with sale order. Along with the sale order, you can also buy tickets. Okay, if you have any questions, so we have seen the questions inside the event template, right? So the questions are not while registering, you can uh, enable this and then the, those question section will appear inside the templates and all. So these are the main things which comes under the event module. So that's all. I hope next time you organize an event, it won't be a hectic task, right? That's all we have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching.